a camping net underneath a canopy in Dededo. When it's really raining hard, I mean, we get flat. Uh, maybe like good uh, six inches. Uh, <clears throat> and we have to like pick up what we have to pick up. Since Typhoon Mawar hit last May, Jose Kinata, his wife and daughter, have called this their home. It's on Chamorro Land Trust property. And this has been their reality after his wood and tin home was destroyed by Typhoon Mawar last May. He admits living in these conditions hasn't been easy. When it rains hard, water starts to flow because the, the slope, the slope, and when it's windy, at the same time it's raining hard, the whole canopy starts to shift there at time. And me lying down or sitting down, I always stay alert just to make sure that the canopy don't collapse. Kinata is also a lineman with the Guam Power Authority. So in the aftermath, while his home was unlivable, he was out working to restore power for the island. The frustration only mounting the months that followed. He pleaded with the CLTC to help him make the repairs necessary. Here he is before the commission last November, trying to push his disaster relief loan application forward. You guys are living under a solid roof. When it rains, that's unique. Me, when it rains, and it rains, the country shakes. When it rains, it gets flooded. I can't leave my place. Come on, man, wake up. The commission working out the paperwork in the months that followed. And during the CLTC meeting today, Thank you. Congratulations. 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 Build your house. Build your house. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Kenata getting the approval he and his family have waited to receive for now nearly a year. So I do have to ask, when you heard the words from the board, you got approved, what was, what was your reaction? Uh, it's a... Uh, it's very emotional. Uh, you know, it's emotional for for me to see that you know we're gonna have a we're gonna have a, a home, a real home. Uh, it's the first time I'm ever gonna have a real home. A dream come true for this Dadido man, ready to work to put a roof over his family's head. During the CLTC meeting, he also showed how grateful he was to commissioners and others who've helped him get this far. The Kanatas are just one of many that are still recovering from the aftermath of the storm. The approval they got today, no doubt, gives them hope that they are able to build their forever home. Julian Hernandez, KOM News, Dedito.